Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my fitness channel. Today's video is my first what I eat in a day of 2023 and I'm so excited to bring these back. I think what I'm going to do is do them monthly so that way it's not too many what I eat in a day but at least you guys get like a little something something every month. I do know that these are probably my most loved videos so I still want to do them but I want to mix up my content a little bit. A little bit of the old, a little bit of the new. That's kind of my vibe for 2023. Hopefully you guys enjoy today's video. Definitely subscribe here if you're new and you want to see more healthy food and fitness content. I love to promote a healthy balanced lifestyle on my channel so if you're into that definitely subscribe so as you can tell my hair is wet I went down to the gym it is now 11 30 and I'm just getting started eating for the day I did have a coffee this morning that was the only thing I had so far that's kind of like my pre-workout if I work out early in the morning is just coffee but yeah now we're gonna get started with the actual meals for the day today's video is actually sponsored by a dr. Kelly Ann and I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about their uh, bone broth which I'm gonna be having this morning because I did a little bit of research myself and it seems like bone broth is best to have in the morning on an empty stomach so I haven't had any food yet so it's like the perfect time to enjoy so if you guys don't know bone broth has a ton of health benefits it's a natural effective way to replenish your mind and body from the inside I personally have been hearing a lot of really good things about bone broth recently on TikTok and Instagram so I was super intrigued and I'm excited to start having it every morning there are so many benefits to having bone broth daily like collagen clean protein amino acids. Dr. Kelly Ann makes it really easy to get your bone broth in every day. Inside of each one of these boxes, there's seven on-the-go packets, and all you have to do is just add a packet to a boiling water. And something kind of crazy about the bone broth as well is one packet is 75 calories and 16 grams of protein. Like that is a lot of protein. Dr. Kellyanne has so many different flavors. This one is the miso mushroom, which I've heard really good things about. This is what the packets look like. Let me get the other flavors just to show you guys other options as well if the miso mushroom isn't your jam. So this blue one is gut and ghee support. This is slow simmered chicken bone broth. We have the home style. We have the French onion, which I'm dying to try because you guys know, I think I've mentioned on this channel before. I've definitely mentioned it on my vlog channel. French onion is my favorite type of flavor. And we also have rosemary thyme and Thai lemongrass. So there's tons of different flavors depending on, you know, what you're into. Like I said, today I'm going to go with the miso mushroom. So we just have to boil some water and add this little packet to a bowl. And it says you can add like your own spices as well. Yeah, we just have to pour the contents into a bowl and add 8 to 12 ounces of boiling water. Stir until blended. You can add pepper salt or your favorite spices for added flavor. I'm going to start by boiling some water. That took like two seconds. I boiled the water, added the packet with the boiling water, but I added some seasonings as well. I did salt, pepper, and of course, red pepper flakes, because you guys know me. I like things spicy. It's really hot right now, but it smells so good. It's good, it has like a slight miso flavor to it, of course. The crazy thing about it too is it's so light, obviously, because it's just a broth, but it has 16 grams of protein in it. So if you guys are interested in trying a bone broth for yourselves, I'm sure a lot of you guys are because with the new year, everyone's trying to make like healthier decisions and this is just a no brainer. It's an easy way to get protein in, grass fed collagen. So all the bone broth boxes that I showed you guys are available on drkellyanna.com. So definitely check out the link in the description box down below if you guys want to try out bone broth for yourselves. And thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my bone broth and then we'll get started started making our like second breakfast of the day very soon. All right, so for second breakfast of the day, we are gonna be making a smoothie. I feel like I don't make smoothies very often on my What I Eat In A Days, but I was just kind of craving one today and I wanted something really creamy, hence the peanut butter. So it's gonna be a peanut butter banana smoothie. Very simple, <laughs> you don't really need too many things. I have some vanilla almond milk right here. Preferably I would have gotten the unsweetened one, but my Instacart driver messed up the other day. So I'm going with this and I'm just using it up um, and then this is two frozen bananas I'm just gonna use one so I'll just use like three of these pieces but I took some fresh bananas and just froze them myself the other day and then we have some 
peanut butter. I got some new peanut butter finally yesterday. So I'm gonna use this in the smoothie, probably like a tablespoon and a half maybe. Um, I really like this protein powder. I've been into just like the really basic flavored protein powders lately. So this is just plain vanilla from Bellway. It has, it's plant-based and it has fiber in it as well or something, 20 grams of protein per serving. So really good. And then to sweeten it up a little bit, I'm gonna use some of this sugar-free low calorie syrup but you could totally use just like honey or agave or whatever you have and then lastly besides ice one of these little capsules from bless this is their healthy hair booster i like to add these into my smoothies let's see if it'll focus in there um you can kind of see they're just like little capsules so you could take them just as like a regular pill as you normally would or you can break them open since they are capsules and just add the powder into things like smoothies or oatmeal or whatever you want so that is the basis of the smoothie, so simple. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I don't think I am. I don't know. You could also add like chia seeds or flax seeds if you have those. I do not. The blender is out. I'm ready to make this thing. Okay, I'm about to pour it into the cup. I wanted to mention though, here's the blended up smoothie. I forgot something. I knew I was forgetting something and I forgot oats. So if you wanna make it like me, just add half of a cup or like up to a third of a cup of dried oats to your smoothie. It'll make your smoothie nice and thick and it has a lot more like benefits to it. One second, I do add something else to my smoothies. If you've been following me for a while, you know I love this so delicious cocoa whip. It is, no pun intended, so delicious. I'm running kind of low on it, but I like to add, I should have done this the way that I'm supposed to, which honestly, I always forget to leave this, take it out of the freezer before I go into scooping it because it's really hard at the beginning, but I like to take some of it and kind of do like what Erewhon does at, um, if you know the expensive grocery store in LA. Um, they like smear coconut whip all over the sides and kind of on the bottom and on the top and stuff. It makes the smoothie look really pretty. It might not work out as well for me today. Yeah, I didn't wait for it to like fully melt because you kind of want like some chunks and stuff, but now it just looks like a mess. I'm gonna add some to the top as well. So let me shake up this smoothie. I'm hoping that it's not too thick to like pour. No, we should be good. It's just going at a snail's pace. <laughs> there we go. I haven't done a peanut butter smoothie in so long. This is not the most beautiful shot in the world. <laughs> okay, it actually made almost like the perfect amount of smoothie. I was afraid I made too much, but it's just enough to fill this glass. Okay, so yeah, you can kind of see what I did with the coconut whip. Honestly, it just tastes really good in the smoothie as well. And now I'm gonna add, or I'm gonna try and add a big scoop on top or like a couple, several scoops to make it look nice. This coconut whip, you guys, is so good. And they have, I don't know if this one is the fat-free version, is it? No, this is just the regular one, but they have a fat-free version of it as well and it tastes exactly the same i think i just got that one because they didn't have the fat free in stock but so good you can add it to your coffee smoothies sometimes i'll do like fruit and a little bit of this because it reminds me of like ice cream or like whipped cream or something it's so good this is what it looks like again so delicious cocoa whip try it you will love it me and fluff again you guys know the drill with her 
Loving to be on top of the fridge. I already tried a little bit of it. It is really thick though. I might need to wait a little bit for it to melt down just slightly because she's very thick. And I also want to say this is a very high calorie smoothie and different than like a typical smoothie that I would make. But since you guys will see in the rest of my what I ate in a day, it's not that I'm eating like not a lot of food, but I'm just not eating anything for the rest of the day. At least what I have planned. Um, I'm not eating anything that's super high in calorie or like super filling or intense like i'm not eating a ton of carbs later on in the day i just like to make sure that my meal after i work out is like very high in protein and just gonna keep me full and keep me feeling good and keep me energized like my workout made me feel so energized so i want to keep that going with the food that i eat and this smoothie is like the perfect thing but it is very high in calories if you're like somebody who's trying to gain weight like this is the perfect like snack for you yeah with everything we're pushing like 600 calories with this smoothie right here but i don't mind i'm gonna call this a peanut butter dream smoothie so good i feel like it would actually be good if you added like raspberry jam or strawberry jam to it i know it sounds weird but it's like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich yeah i have some stuff to do for a little while i'll touch base with you guys in a bit when it's time to have lunch which i'm very excited for hello everyone it is quite a few hours later we're having a little late lunch sleigh it's gonna be something really simple um and i don't even care that this was popular two years ago okay the tiktok quesadilla or not it's not even a quesadilla but the tiktok tortilla hack where you cut it into like four pieces and then you like sandwich them on top of each other it changed my life four years ago and i haven't done it in a while so i got all the ingredients for it we're gonna do like a pesto chicken tomato moment and it should be really good so i'm just gonna grab all the ingredients also i've been changing like 50 million times within this video and like all my videos because i'm filming ads and i don't want to be wearing the same thing and like all the clips that you guys see eventually so i've just been changing like so much but it's okay yeah i'm pretty hungry at this point and i still have some editing to do on my computer so i'm gonna make lunch now did you guys just hear that that is my cat trying to fight one of my other cats okay so here's everything you're gonna need my favorite thing about doing these little tortilla hacks is it's so easy you literally need five ingredients like it doesn't matter what ingredients you pick just five. I'm going for a pesto flavor profile today, but you can switch this up and literally do anything. All you're going to need is a wrap as your base for everything, then some form of protein. You could do ground beef, you could do chicken, you could do turkey, you could do like a deli meat, like you can literally do anything. And then always have a cheese, at least I think so. A cheese is like essential to this to make it nice and melty and stuff. So I chose mozzarella today. I'm also doing pre-cooked chicken because since I live on my own now, I just don't go through like the big things of chicken anymore. And that's all they had at the store. So I figured this would be like a safe bet. And I don't really eat chicken that much on my own. So we're just going to do this. And then I have some pesto right here as a sauce. You always want to have a sauce and some type of veggie. So I'm going to do some tomato slices. So you just need wrap, protein, cheese, sauce, and a veggie. Pick whatever flavor combination that you want to do. This is just what I'm feeling today, and you will have the best lunch ever. You guys will see it's better just to watch me do it than to explain it if you've never seen it before. But you fold this into fourths, and then you cut it down just one side, and then we fold each ingredient in. But I'm going to also saute this chicken a little bit more because I don't want it to be like super cold when it goes on the stove. I just feel like I like my chicken a little bit more burnt and this is not really up to my par. So we'll start with that.
Okay, so now we have the tortilla all folded up with the four things we put inside. Now I'm just gonna spray a little bit of olive oil spray on the same pan we just used to cook up the chicken and add it back on and let it get nice and crispy on the outside. And it's gonna be so good. All right, it's super hot right now, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to like fully pick it up without burning my fingers. Let's see. Sorry, I don't even know if I was in frame, but you can see how good the pesto and the cheese are all melted. I put the chicken in the wrong spot though, so it keeps falling out. Ideally, you want the chicken in the middle, just that way it stays together more and doesn't like fall out while you're flipping it constantly, but it all works out in the end. This is the easiest lunch ever. I stand by this, so good. So simple, literally five ingredients, and it's something that you can eat over and over again and not get tired of. And then also you can take this hack and make it into anything you want. You could do like a buffalo chicken one, a taco one. The options are endless. It doesn't really look the prettiest once it's all said and done, but it tastes amazing. Yeah, I'm gonna go eat my lunch, and I will talk to you guys in a little bit when it's time for dinner. My cats are fighting. Again, conveniently every time I talk, but I'll talk to you guys when it's time for dinner. Oh, hello, it is time for dinner and i'm doing a more intense recipe than i have recently you guys know i've been on like a simple meal kick but i felt like making kava at home oh i forgot the rice i'm trying to remember everything because there are so many ingredients i'm gonna do this garlic and olive oil microwavable rice because i don't feel like cooking actual rice but there are so many ingredients you can see so let's get into it we're making kava at home hopefully it tastes like semi good compared to the real thing. I'm not doing chicken. I'm gonna do, well, I'm doing chicken, but I'm doing chicken meatballs. So I think that they'll be good. There's just a lot of components to this. So I feel like I'm forgetting ingredients. And if I am, I will let you guys know throughout this portion of the video. As you can see, there is quite a bit of stuff. We have the ground chicken right here. We're gonna make a ton of meatballs just to have leftovers for the rest of the week. I think I'm gonna add some of these hot and sweet jalapenos from Trader Joe's because I really like those. For the base, I'm doing arugula, and then I already showed you guys the garlic and olive oil rice right here. It's gonna be like a half and half, like half arugula, half rice. And then we have seasoned breadcrumbs for the meatballs. As for toppings, of course, we're gonna do some tzatziki. I have some cucumbers here. You guys know I don't even really like cucumbers like that, but I'm gonna make like a cucumber and tomato, um, what's it called? Cucumber and tomato side, I don't know. I'm trying to emulate all the stuff that I get on my bowl when I go to Kava. So I do like a cucumber and tomato kind of thing. So I'm gonna do that. So there's a tomato. We have some reduced fat cheddar, che cheddar cheese, feta cheese right here. Of course, we're gonna need some olive oil. This was kind of hard to find, it's the harissa. But I love the hot harissa vinaigrettes that they have at Kava. So I looked it up and I think I have everything I need to make a little vinaigrette with some of that because that's what I always get on my bowl. We have an egg for the meatballs, avocado to top. They're little non-dippers and it says that they're really good warm. I've never tried these before, but they kind of remind me of the pita chips. I'm gonna try and like season them up a little bit, put some olive oil on them and see if they taste anywhere close to the real thing from Kava because their pita chips are unmatched. We have a lemon, um, this is some fresh dill. And then as for seasonings, we have garlic powder, salt, pepper, cumin, uh, chili flakes, and some dill. And this right here is my prized possession right now. Look at how bright this is, you guys. I made my own pickled onions. If you guys wanna see me, show you how to do this in a video literally so easy you can just google how to do it but i can show you guys too if you want um but yeah they've been sitting for like 24 hours now so i feel like they're gonna be pretty decent but obviously like just get better with time it was so easy i literally just took an old jar cut up some red onion added some like vinegar water sugar salt and then you put them in a jar but yeah i'm gonna declutter a little bit we're gonna get started first with the Meatballs, of course, which I'm gonna bake them. So we just have to mix everything together. I feel like I haven't made meatballs in so long. You can always add like Parmesan cheese to your meatballs as well, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna omit that and just do egg, olive oil, ground chicken, seasonings, and breadcrumbs. So yeah, let's just get started.
honestly, that was a lot more meatballs than I thought it was gonna make. I don't know why I thought it was gonna be like half of this, but it, they fit pretty tightly in this cute little um, dish that I just got recently and I'm excited to use it. Now let's make our way over to the oven. I preheated it to 400 degrees and I believe I'm gonna leave them in there for... I have to look up how long I'm leaving these in there for. Oh, should I spray them with a little bit of olive oil? Okay, that should be good. Now we're gonna pop those in there and I'm actually realizing this is a pretty easy recipe because none of the other stuff requires cooking. Like literally all we have to do is just pop these in the oven and then make all the other fun stuff. Yeah, we're actually way better off than I thought we would be. Let me pop these right on in there. Also how cute, I forgot that I had these little washcloths or what are they called? Is it washcloths? I forgot that I had them for Valentine's Day so I brought those out. Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just wanna make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter it's too late not to let it go And that's why I Wish you the best to say goodbye You start to get dressed and then we cry Cause we both know it's gonna hurt But not as much as this does We had a good run Don't say we didn't I was your first love And you were my first one all right, so for the vinaigrette, I'm using a food processor because I don't feel like taking up my big blender and I'm doing like half of what the recipe calls for because I don't want to make too much. So this little mini food processor should do the job just fine. But here's all the ingredients that you're going to need. We have honey back here. I forgot to take this stuff out before. Um, red wine vinegar, salt, olive oil. We don't need dill. Um, the harissa, hopefully I'm saying that right. I think I am harissa or harissa. I don't know um, Minced garlic and then since mine I could only find the mild one not the spicy one I'm gonna just add I'm just gonna add a little bit of sriracha to make it a little spicy But you just combine all that everything mostly is a fourth of a cup like a fourth of a cup olive oil You also need a fourth of a cup water I will list this down below just because it's a little confusing but a fourth of a cup olive oil fourth of a cup balsamic vinegar a fourth of a cup or red wine vinegar, not balsamic vinegar. A fourth of a cup of the harissa, and then a fourth of a cup water, if I didn't already say that. I'm all over the place. I'll leave this down below, the right measurements. You guys can just watch me add it all into the food processor. So let's call it night, and that's why I wish you the best to say goodbye. You start to get dressed, and then we cry. Cause we both know
right, you guys, I'm officially done. So the meatballs took a little bit longer. I think it's because I made them a little bit bigger than the recipe that I followed called for. So I did them for like 35 minutes and then I did broil them for like two minutes at the end. Oh, I forgot to add the little pitas. Um, but yeah, it looks so good. And I need to tell you guys, this vinaigrette, I'm saving every little last bit of that. That is so delicious. It's like spicy slightly but just kind of like sweet spicy. Oh my God, it's so good. I decided to omit the jalapenos because I feel like I just have a lot going on in this bowl. Yeah, look at all the extra meatballs I have left over. I'm definitely gonna have to freeze some of these. I did try one and they're delicious. Let me grab a couple of these warm pitas. I added salt, pepper, and dill to them. I'm sure that they aren't gonna be as amazing as Cava's, but it'll work for at home. Looks so good and it was honestly pretty easy. Like, you just gotta make the meatballs. That's really it. Hey guys, I'll take my glasses off so you guys don't see the reflection, but um, I ate the kava and it was so good. Honestly, those pita chips, they gave kava a run for their money. I'm sorry if you guys can hear my laundry and my dishwasher going. After I ate, I picked up. I try and do like a 20 minute clean up every night before I go to sleep so that way when I wake up in the morning, it's not like a complete disaster in my kitchen and just like in my apartment in general. The harissa, hopefully I'm saying that right, vinaigrette, you need to make that so simple. Literally, what did I do? Like garlic, honey, red wine vinegar, harissa, water, olive oil. I think that's everything, like maybe a pinch of salt or something. Oh, and sriracha. It was so easy and so good. That would be good on any salad. And then I know that kava also like marinates their chicken in harissa, so I wanna try that sometime. Yeah, I was gonna have a yasso bar, like one of those little Greek yogurt ice cream bars. I was gonna have one of those, but I'm honestly not that hungry. I don't know why. I randomly started getting like a pain in my lower back and it's hurting a lot and I just feel like I'm not in the mood to eat anything else because I'm in pain. I just took some Advil, so hopefully it goes away soon. Yeah, because of that reason, that is all that I'm gonna be eating for the rest of the night. Literally the only th other thing that I'm gonna have is water and my melatonin gummies because I can't live without them these days. <laughs> With that being said, let me stop talking so much. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe here if you guys aren't already. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram. And before I forget, thank you so much to Dr. Kelly Ann for sponsoring today's video. Definitely check out the link in the description box to go check them out. There are tons of flavors of beef broth. I really think a lot of you guys would like it. It's so high in protein and very light, so it doesn't feel like when you have a protein shake when you feel so heavy and kind of bloated after. Like you still feel very light and airy but you get all that protein in which is amazing so click the link in the description box and go check them out but thank you guys so much for watching today's video and i will talk to you in my next one very soon bye